click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends we'll be discussing another illustration which will be referred to the second method that we had discussed that means product method there are two variants in it the first variant being the forward case <music> Now when we discuss about the forward case we basically talk about the calculation of due days or rather we can say that the calculation of total days here when we talk about the calculation of total days the total days calculation starts from the date of the specific transaction rather we can say the due date of that specific transaction until the closing statements until the date of closing statements this is the tenure that is used while calculating the forward case method problem to make you illustrate this or to make you understand this we'll solve an illustration for this reference let's start with it we have mentioned the case illustration for you let's read it up we have to make up an account current which is rendered by mr y to mr x on 31st of december 2016 rate of interest is 18% per annum the following transactions and date have been mentioned along with the amount so let's start with the first transaction 1st of july balance owing to mr y rupees 600 that means that is the opening balance 30th of july goods sold to mr y credit period was 1 month and the amount was 300 1st of august goods purchased from mr y credit period was 1 month and the amount was 200 rupees 1st of september cash received from mr y amounting to rupees 100 again on 1st of september there was a draft that y accepted which was referred to mr x at a period of 3 months date and the amount was 4 rupees 400 we have to prepare an account current using the forward method scenario let's prepare it now as this is referred to the product method interest method will be absolutely removed out from the scenario we have to use the product method concept itself just the days of calculations or rather in this method only the days is really important to calculate let's figure it out how much it is we have prepared the format for your reference let's go ahead and start posting the entries now that you are familiar with posting the entries it won't be a problem for you guys so let's go ahead and start with it wherever the date or the due date isn't mentioned like in the question there was mentioned the credit period allowed or the credit period received that has been mentioned wherever it hasn't been mentioned take the transaction date as the date of due date so to calculate the number of days we have to figure out that from 1st of july until 31st of december that's the closing date we have to take into consideration so from 1st of july until 31st of december how many days do we have is what we have to calculate so as this is the first transaction which is referred to the balance being transferred hence that day has to be calculated that means total of july days will be calculated so 31st july days and then until december we have a total of somewhere around 184 days to be calculated so that will be a total of 110400 for the product now let's go on to the next transaction the next transaction refers to first the transaction that was referred as sales transaction and the credit period was given as 1 month so 30th of july the transaction happened and the credit period will be for one month which will be 30th of august so that has been mentioned here now from 30th of august how many days until december is what we have to calculate so here you'll use the same logic as you've applied in the product method so that will be 123 days let's go on to the next transaction now now the next transaction refers to the purchases that were made for an amount of 200 rupees now this the due date has been also mentioned as one month of credit period the transaction happened on 1st of august so the due date will be again in the month of september now that will be 1st of september now from 1st of september you have to calculate until the closure date that is 31st of december let's calculate that so that will be a total of 121 days let's go on to the next transaction again on 1st of september there was a cash receipt of 100 rupees that was done as there was no due date mentioned hence we'll take the transaction date at is the due date itself so from 1st of september until 31st of december how many days again 121 days on 1st of september there was a bill drafted which was accepted by y for a period of 3 months now this will be from september until december and in december it will be 4th of december being the due date why is because from 1st of september until 1st of december these are the 3 months 3 days additionally added to it which will be 4th of december so from 4th of december until 31st of december how many days is what we have to calculate that will be 27 days and the total amount will be 10800 now we follow the same concept of product balances that means do the product total first and figure out where is the balance now the balance of product has been also found out whereby debit side is more as compared to the credit side so 100200 is the amount 
on this amount itself we have to calculate the interest as you can see the balance has been mentioned on the credit side hence you will be mentioning the interest on the debit side of the amount column so we have to calculate the rate of interest at the rate of 18 percent per annum but that will be only for one day what we have to calculate so let's calculate on the product balances now so the interest here comes to rupees 49.41 we round it off to the nearest digit that is 49 rupees now we'll figure out the total of balances that is of the amount column whether we'll see whether we have debit balance or credit balance now so we have figured out that the balance is for the amount column is also 249 rupees whereby debit side is more as compared to the credit side hence the balance has been mentioned on the credit side now that balance will be brought up in the next year forward and this will be taken ahead so this is how you solve the forward method problem case related to the product method i hope this illustration gave you a clarity on that so thank you for watching this video stay tuned with ekeda and keep subscribing to ekeda